On the agenda tonight, we're going back to 1978. We're going to be taking a look at the cars and they're going to be performing just what I needed. <laughs> Hello, Phil here from Wings of Pegasus and welcome to another analysis video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So uh, this particular request has asked me to take a look at Benjamin Orr's lead vocal. So I have isolated it, run it through the pitch monitoring software and we will jump into this performance from the Midnight Special. I mean, what a TV show that was and I believe that they have remastered uh, different performances and this is one of those so we will jump into it of course we're going to see uh, Benjamin's voice up on screen as a yellow line but let's get into it and see how they get on <laughs> When you're standing out so near, I kind of lose my mind. It's not the perfume that you wear, it's not the ribbons in your hair. I don't mind you coming here and wasting all my Doesn't matter where you've been As long as it was deep, yeah You always knew to wear it well And you look so fancy, I can tell And I don't mind you hanging out And talking in your sleep I guess you're just what I needed I'm just going to jump in here. <laughs> if you want to watch this the whole way through without me interrupting it, there's a link in the description below as always. But with this performance, obviously there's just solid guitar work throughout from a rhythm and lead perspective, of course. So very tempting to get out of the guitar, but just to talk about Benjamin's lead vocal, because the first thing to mention actually about this song, just in general, is that it runs sharp. And when I say that it runs sharp, what I mean is that everything is ever so slightly higher than you would have with standard tuning. And it's the first thing that I noticed when I watched this live performance, of course, thinking about live performances back in the 70s, it's all re recorded on tape. And sometimes when they're played back, it's played back a little bit faster than it should have been. So it means that the pitch of the audio is ever so slightly too high. But the studio version is exactly the same, that it runs ever so slightly sharp, a 440 hertz tuning, and they were, I mean, the likelihood that when they were playing live, the tape ran a little bit fast, and then in the studio, it ran a little bit fast, is too coincidental for me. So I think that they're tuning to probably 442 hertz. That's where I'd place it. And if I were to calibrate this to 442 hertz and then run the instruments through there and the guitar and especially uh, the keys, then you will see that it will be on the lines perfectly. So it's, yeah, just run the 440 hertz is 442 hertz. So this is why if you are listening to this and you're playing along and your guitar sounds a little bit flat, like ever so slightly flat, that's the reason. Benjamin's voice was just so unique. And the reason that it suits this sound so well, I would even go as far to say 
as Benjamin's voice sounds, I mean, we're talking about late 70s here, it sounds ahead of its time. And I know that it, you know, is referred to as, or the cars are referred to as new wave. You know, it's all new. It's a, a different sound. But I would say that this vocal reminds me of singers, especially here in the UK, from the 90s. There were guitars and all the instrumentation that you get in a band, but they have a lot of synth elements or synth elements that are high in the mix. Now, the thing about having keys effectively, which is synth high in the mix, the tuning is always going to be straight. And I know that in, in this particular song, we do have a very fast wobble of vibrato, especially kind of at the end, you'll notice it. But because we're listening to an instrument that's high in the mix that is tuned to a particular frequency, it means that when you get a vocal like Benjamin's that is straight, but free form at the same time is a bit of a contradiction. If he does hold notes, he's got a tiny bit of vibrato, but it's not that noticeable. When he's hitting notes, he's hitting them in such a relaxed way, but he's hitting them in a way that he's not holding them for a long time and applying vibrato. So it is like pressing notes on a keyboard, but let's just jump into it and I'll explain what I mean. I don't mind you coming here. Yeah, I don't mind you coming here. You know, it's that picking out those notes just instantaneously. Another thing to mention is how good is this when you compare it to the studio release? And this is what I love about the old recordings is that guys got into the studio and bands got into the studio and just performed and they recorded it. And that was your single. And <laughs> you know, it might have been the track on an album, but the album would have been full of songs. It's just the guys performing it and obviously really well produced in the studio but it's not pitch corrected or auto-tuned and you know there aren't like a million drop-ins overdubs all that kind of stuff and you can tell that with benjamin's voice live here it's exactly the same you know tonally expression wise as that original release which is great and even on the original release you'll see points at which he's flat and a little bit sharp but that's just because it's his voice and i think it's part of this new sound, but let's jump into it again. And wasting all my time Cause when you're standing out so near I kinda lose my mind It's not the perfume that you wear It's not the ribbons in, in your hair Not the money coming here And wasting all my time the other thing that we've got in Benjamin's voice, as he ascends in range up to this F-sharp 4, you'll hear that he almost gets a smoky quality to his voice. Not only coming here. It, there's something else in there that is different to the clarity at the bottom of his range. Not only coming here. It's actually already coming in at that E4. Ah, and it might just be a little bit more expression or just something that happens naturally in his voice as he ascends. And wasting all my time. And there we have this vibrato. Like I said, it is in there, but he's not holding notes for a long time and just applying vibrato for the whole note. It's very much just talking and singing in a way that sounds like talking, which is why it's so engaging. But let's move it into the second verse. I don't mind you hanging out and talking in your sleep. It doesn't matter where you've been. Interesting in that sometimes Benjamin starts the line from way down low in his range. Listen again. It doesn't matter where you've been. As long as it was deep, yeah. And even that kind of thing, throwing in a, yeah, you know, it's it's very 90s. It's something that it's almost, especially here in the UK, Nirvana were huge in the 90s and took the sound away from kind of the 80s hard rock and all that kind of stuff into now grunge in the 90s. But this is what I mean about this sound, having these little bits of expression between vocal lines, 
you know, this is the late 70s, this isn't the 90s, so it has a sound in there that I can relate to bands in the UK in the 90s. This whole new way of singing and expressing yourself just came to the forefront with, with the cars, but let's listen to that again. I don't mind you hanging out and talking in your sleep. It doesn't matter where you've been. It's that kind of thing when he goes, uh, uh, and he's starting down there, he's going, uh, it doesn't matter. And then he gets up higher into his range. So that's what I meant about starting low down. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, he's taking it all the way. And you know, by the time he does get up there, uh, uh, you know, he's then nailing these notes. Let's have a listen again. It doesn't matter. Uh, uh, and, and his, uh, his tone is a little bit different down there. Uh, it doesn't matter where you've been. You don't. It's almost like, oh, uh, it's a little bit covered. It doesn't matter. And then he gets cleaner as he goes up. Oh, uh, it doesn't matter where you've been. That kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, this is my voice, so <laughs> I haven't got Benjamin's voice. But just the way that he goes from that, oh, uh, that more full bodied place into oh, and then brings it up from there. It's uh, such a unique th thing to do. As long as it was deep, yeah, you always knew to wear it well. There you go, great example there. Oh, no, oh, and he's, oh, <laughs> he's taking it from there. Maybe we can hear it in slow motion, it'll be more obvious. Always... Yeah, there we go. Oh, as he comes up, always. But because he's not spending a long time down there, it doesn't really stand out. What? Yeah, great, hearing it in slow motion. Yeah, so <laughs> we won't listen to the whole thing in slow motion. But it's fascinating to hear it like that because now we can really hear what he's doing with his voice as he enters these phrases. He's entering from really low in his range, but oh, and then he's getting to pitch. And where he's starting down at the bottom here, he's not going oh, and he's not taking steps up. He's oh, sliding up from that lower place. And you look so bouncy, I can tell. And I don't mind you hanging out. And then you get that contradiction of, I don't mind you hanging out. Ha, ha, ha. So now coming in and hitting these notes just straight on without these slides from lower in his range. And talk in your sleep. I guess we just what I need it. I need it. I need someone to feed. I guess who just what I need I need I need someone to bleed. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just gonna take it back because we did get a little bit of Elliot's guitar there. I guess and it's great because you can see his vibrato on screen as well. And um, yeah, great guitar work in this song. But let's get back to where we left it. And we'll bring back the instrumentation and jump into it again. And wasting all my time, time is when you're standing all so near. I kind of lose my mind. Yeah, it's not the perfume I do well. It's not the rhythms in your. Just what I need. 
And there we have it. Just to point out, this is totally live, instrumentally, vocally. And I mean, right at the end there, I did say that you might be able to hear some of the kind of vibrato on the synth sound. It's not really an even vibrato. Let's listen to it in slow motion. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it technically is vibrato, just happening very quickly. And wasting all my time, time. I mean, I love those extra little bits. Time, time. Yeah, when he throws it in. Cause when you're standing all so near, I kind of lose my mind. Yeah, it's not the perfume I too well. <laughs> I mean, there it is again. It's not the rhythms in your hair, and I don't mind you coming here. And then again, getting into that smoky quality. Um, na 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 na. And this is the other thing the Benjamin does is he hits na 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 that final note is bang on he, he's so precise with that and he's coming from a, a note that is higher so because it's a, a very short sharp note sharp as in you know staccato it, it's not being held for a long time it's just like nah and that's it you know it, it's got to be dead on because if you're if you're off with that it just stands out with, with those kinds of notes because you don't get time to adjust it. If you go, na, and you hold a note, it can be, na, you can start sharp and bring it down. But just having to go, na, you, you just got to try and hit that and hope that it works. And if it's flat, it's going to stand out. Uh, or if it's sharp, it's going to stand out as well. I'm wasting all my time. I guess we're just what I need. Yeah. And we've got range here as well, where we're hitting this, na 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 na. You know, we've, we're going up to what a a four there. So it's a sound that Benjamin as well, when he goes up there, it, it sounds like. It is in his chest voice that he's not getting light with that. He's kind of pushing his voice all the way up there. And by the way, those backing harmonies, la, 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 you know, those are high notes anyway. And they're being hit like, na, 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 na. you know, it's, it's quite a full vocal cord connection that's going on there. Thank you guys for requesting this particular video for me to take a look at and yeah, you know, I could spend ages on this particular song, you know, getting the guitar out, looking at some of the lead lines and the rhythm work. And yeah, you know, just quickly in the intro, uh, this isn't going to be an instructional video or anything like that, but my guitar's not even plugged in. Notice at the beginning of this song where Rick is actually playing this chord because it's an E, you know, which normally you would play it there but he's not playing it there he's playing it up on the 12th fret and I'll take it back because this is what he would have done in the studio as well so if you want to get this really authentic yeah look at the way that he's keeping this all together at the top here of his guitar if I'm really light on my low E string here and I go and I hit my strings I'm not pushing down any of my strings here, but you're hearing the E and that's the harmonic of the E. So it means that when you're playing Hopefully you can you can hear that that even though I'm not pushing down on the fretboard we have a note there if I move away You can hear how the note disappears I mean, the other explanation is that Elliot is playing the E down here, Rick's playing the E up here. So even though they sound exactly the same, <laughs> maybe Rick would have been focusing on, you know, the, the higher strings, but it doesn't sound like he is. It sounds like we're just getting that one chord. So yeah, it might be a harmonic thing, might not be, 
But if you wanted to play this really authentically, uh, then yeah, if you're playing Rick's part, you'd have to get up to that 12th fret. So anyway, as I said, I didn't want this video to go on for too long, but it probably has already. Thank you guys for requesting this particular video for me to take a look at. And as always, let me know what you guys think. Keep those suggestions and requests coming in the comment section below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys at the next one. Rock!